One of Vigo County's biggest employers is laying off some employees. The university has started the notification process. Good afternoon to you. I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Monday, February 6th. University officials say new layoffs at Indiana State University are part of the budget reduction process. The layoffs come amid a continuing enrollment drop. We told you recently that the university dipped below 8,000 students. ISU reported a spring semester headcount of 7,834 students. Since the spring of 2017, there's been about a 34% drop. The university's president said the pandemic further hurt a changing higher education landscape. News 10's Blake Dollier joins us now live from the Indiana State University campus. He spoke with one of the impacted employees today. So Blake, walk us through what you've learned. Susie, I was able to get a copy of that letter from the provost's office here at Indiana State University. It says the true number of layoffs may not be known entirely until the spring. That says university officials say they deal with turnover like retirements and other things of that nature. The letter did say the number of regular faculty cuts is smaller than first expected. At least one instructor is sharing the news on her own. Lori Henson is a journalism instructor here at ISU. She's been here for more than a decade. Henson tells me it was quite painful to learn that she'd be losing her job, but she says it's even more concerning for the future of the program. Obviously, there are lots of, of you know, consequences of this for me personally, but my bigger concern and what I uh, said in that moment was I hope that the institution continues to invest in journalism. I reached out to the university president's office for comment. A university spokesman gave me this statement. He said, quote, we're in the middle of a process, and when it's finished in the spring, we will say more. Now, coming up at 6, I'll tell you more about how this situation was handled and more of Henson's reaction. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Blake Dollier, News 10.